Hello, and welcome to a brand new episode of Corey and Kevin Talk About Nothing. If you're tuning in for the first time, I'm Corey. I'm Kevin, and welcome to our podcast talk show. Hello, hello. Yes. How are you doing this week, Kev? I'm doing great. Doing great. Good. Yeah, good. I, good, uh, good. A lot of exciting things on the horizon. Uh, there's something I've watched that it seems that our friend group just hasn't. I don't. Maybe that's changed. Uh, I, I kind of didn't talk to you about this beforehand, so I'm guessing it did not change. <laughs> it did not change. <laughs> it did not change at all. <laughs> um, it I, makes me mad because I was today. I swear to you, it was it was on my radar. That's I'm like I was gonna watch it, gonna watch it, and then one thing led to another, to where that led to another, to where all of a sudden I'm like, don't know if I really have time. You know what I mean? Right, to, right. to do it because I was gonna actually before right before we started. That's what I was. I, that's what I was gonna do. But I'm like, it was gonna be cutting it really close yeah, to right. our, standard, our normal start time. So I'm like, nah, I'm good. I'm good. Well, kind of what you did, but it's fine. Anyways, I did not. So what are you talking about there, Kev? What are you talking, uh, I don't Lord know what of the Rings, about. the Rings of Power. <laughs> I. Yeah. So we have. We still have an episode to watch. Um, that uh, that we haven't. So there's three episodes it, total right now. Yeah. Um, and I and I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed it so far. And yeah. I you know. I don't. I don't really care what anybody else thinks because I've seen good and bad stuff on the internet, and I'm like, you know what? I don't care. This is yeah. my shit. This is my fantasy shit. I love it. <laughs> I love the yes. Tolkien universe, and and I feel like they're they're having a great time with it. So I'm 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 pumped. I can't wait for more. Gotcha. We're gonna watch I will, the next episode. Depending on the timing, I may get an episode in tonight. That was my plan. I'm, uh, so I'm, gonna re- I'm, I'm gonna tell you what I, I'm gonna tell you one thing that I not that I read like, anything crazy about it, but the one thing that negative that I read about it, and I'm not that I'm upset about it. I mean, I'm not saying that, but they said the first episode, they're they're character building, so that's what you're learning. The first episode, they're like, so it's kind of boring. That's what they kind of said. What like, it is so not I know, boring that's what, at all. Well, 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 so that's where I'm like, oh, what boring? Like that is like that's not that's not what I expected. But then in the same thing, in the same post. They said once once episode two, you watch episode two, it got way it got like way more like involved and better. Is what and I swear to you, that's what. That's, the, but that's the only wrong. thing. Wrong. So <laughs> yeah. So I want a wrong um, button. I need a soundboard. Wrong. Yep. Wrong. Like uh, yeah. yeah. That's just not accurate. <laughs> uh, the first one was excellent. I don't know. I th- I thought it was awesome because it it dives into. Um, some history, some like lore, some cool shit. That that blows my mind. Human beings are yeah. weird. <laughs> <laughs> Human beings are oh, weird. Um, I've I've thoroughly enjoyed it. The House okay. of the Dragon. Uh, we're I think maybe two episodes behind now. Um, but the first of the second episode, the first episode was really good. We I felt like we were back in that that universe. Um, mm-hmm. but the second episode was a little weird, a little draggy, a little, a little weird. Um, so, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see how that one progresses. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's, you know, it's hard to go, you know, eight years with specific characters and storylines and then learning about the to, Targaryens. Yeah. And it's like, you kind of had, just had to get, you have to forgive HBO and the, and the writers for season eight. First off. Yeah. It's a hard Once you, I'm sorry. <laughs> You have to go through to... your steps of uh, grief, your 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 the gr- the grief steps, okay? And one and one of those steps is acceptance. Season eight happened, and it's time to move on. So this is like, yeah, <laughs> all right. There are some <laughs> the North remembers, you know. <laughs> yes. But I, you know, it's again. I I love fantasy, so it's it's hard to just ignore something that it's like clearly in my wheelhouse. So. Yeah, um, we'll we'll keep watching that and, and just see how that progresses. For sure, yeah, absolutely. Next time, next time we record one, I will definitely have it, probably all of the episodes in. You know, was, today was the day. I had a long weekend. I was on a town all weekend, and you know what I mean. So I just didn't like using my weekend time, my weekend watching. Well, right, right, happen. yeah. So like that's the that's truly what happened with the whole situation. So all all I'll say because because right now uh, in in the D and D campaign that we're running. Um, Jessica's a dwarf, and okay. all I'll say is, watching it, she's like, 
I'm 100, 100% fine being a dwarf. I love dwarves. <laughs> they are so fun. So I'm like, yeah, okay. you know? Yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. so it's really, it really it's cool. coming out. Yeah. yeah. Um, That's awesome. So, yeah. Can't wait for more of that. Uh, and that'll be wrapped up by October 6th, which really blows my mind. Yeah, it's very fast. Uh, this is just going to be a news and update segment right here. Uh, you know what's yeah. coming out September 30th? What? I don't know if you were a fan of this as a kid. I'm guessing you had to have been because what kid wasn't a fan of this? Hocus Pocus, you know, the movie Hocus Pocus. Oh, oh yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, a, okay. it's one we watch every every year and we definitely now we'll, are going to be watching it every year uh, once, you know, Clementine. Clementine saw the pictures were like, you know, just like, I want to see the one with the witches. We're like, we'll see. We'll see. I don't, yeah. I don't know. Boogity, Boogity might have crossed the line. So we'll... we'll, we'll We'll wait there. But um, Hocus Pocus 2 will be coming out. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. All right. That'd be, okay. Okay. That'd be sweet. Are they Very the same characters excited. and stuff? As far as I like know, the same yeah. Cast? Everybody. Yeah. As far as okay. I know. I don't know. I don't know what the storyline is either. So, But as far as the witches, I'm pretty sure they're all. I hope uh, well, you, yeah. Billy the zombie with the... Um, when his head rolls off. I hope he's still in there. But yeah, very excited about that. Uh, I'm Thor. Look, I'm not looking into that. Yeah, Thor yes. 4 is streaming, so I think that should be maybe our next. That was going to bring that up. Perfect. So I'm on 100%. Perfect, perfect. Because, um, uh, yeah, we, we were jazzed to see that one. And then. Yeah. Um, you, so you, you texted me, are we watching? Nope. And. Uh, if you can get that in, because we will discuss that as well, because it was awesome. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> it is the only movie that I've ever like rented because there was no theater in our area within like a twenty mile radius that was showing a movie that within like an eight hour span of when we needed it, and so we're like, all right, we'll voodoo it up, and they don't give you the option to buy, and it was really really sad. I, oh. you know, so I only got to watch it once so far, but it was awesome. Jordan Peele is awesome. Huh. All right. uh, Kiki oh, Palmer, I'll, I'll, I'll awesome. Daniel uh, Kulaya, I'm probably getting that name wrong, and I do apologize. Awesome. Everybody was awesome. It was a great movie. And I, I love how he takes sci-fi and just flips it on its head, and you just don't think you could do that anymore with this type of storytelling and, and movies that we've seen, but he does. Anyways. Does it? Yeah. Okay. Um trying to think of anything else that was like kind of big that like is popping up or anything no um i i, I got nothing the only thing that i that i i didn't, I didn't write it down i have to, to look up to it but there do you remember uh charlie from uh um lost yeah he's in a new series i think it's on amazon prime that's gets it's like supposed to come out towards the end of september i think Very which cool. i'm like ah, oh, th- yeah that look like that looks pretty decent you know what i mean th- I mean, we'll see. You know what I mean? I, I liked him a lot in, the, in, in Lost, and I thought I mean, it's still one of my favorite shows all of all time. So it's got a special place in my heart there. So it's kind of like, yeah, maybe. I mean, it's – it's we'll see. So. He's uh, he's in three movies that you've supposedly watched, but most, yeah. of, most of us don't. Oh, well. Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Lord of the Rings. <laughs> he quickly Googled. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. I have it pulled up right here. I mean, You're what? Right. <laughs> <laughs> you have like a sheet of, of Lord of the Rings trivia and cast list in case like everybody has like, you've done more work it's, than just actually watching the movie. For sure. Exactly. I know. It's actually a sticky note on my computer. <laughs> yeah, right. Except it's like so, a whole screen worth it's of a sticky lot. notes. It's a lot of sticky notes. Unorganized. It's actually this, it's actually this monitor over here. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. It's like a yeah. fake monitor. Uh-huh. Uh huh. But yeah, so interesting, fun things coming up. Uh, the movies that yeah. we watched this time, what were they? They were The Lost City. Um, and then the other one was uh, a timeshare. Hell is a timeshare. Oh, in hell is a timeshare for Florida. Yes. Um. Yes. Yeah, The Lost City with Sandra Bullock, Channing Tatum, Brad Pitt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dude, that. I, I, it's, it's funny because I'm not, for some reason I didn't remember Brad Pitt being in this film. So when he actually popped up, because <laughs> when we talked about it, I didn't even like, yeah. I didn't do anything. Right, all of a sudden, you just watched I, it. Right? I, I, yeah. I just watched yeah. it. Like so, I just boom. And I remember, the, I remembered it. Like I remembered when I saw when I saw the uh, the um, 
the, the cover of it when oh, I okay. click on the, the tra- not the, there's the cover when you click on it right yeah. like the the and all of a sudden I see those two and I don't that's all I see <laughs> then was when he popped up dude I laughed so hard so you, you want to dive into this one first yeah let's just dive right into this one because okay, I had okay. so much right, fun cool. with this one yeah, uh, yeah it, was, it was awesome it's another movie that like just cements the fact that I love Channing Tatum and I think I think he's just is so funny. He he's could, hilarious. He could, yeah, he could play very le- uh, various levels of hilarity, and this is the yes, yeah. absolutely. And then also, like, he, don't worry, Channing Tatum's got he's got like range because you know what I mean. He's he he, he was a uh, uh, GI GI Joe, right? Yeah, GI Joe. He was in a movie called uh, oh, I can't remember. Side Effects, uh, which was a drama. Uh, yeah, okay. uh, he was in uh, Foxcatcher. And I'm pretty sure that one got some awards too, where he played played like a real boxer Ooh. and whatnot. So, he, dude's gotcha. got range. Uh, but then, yeah, like absolutely. his comedy though, his it's, comedies it's, it's, are it's, out of the park, man. Yeah, absolutely. Well, yeah, and I think, but I think that's where he stands out from like other actor, other like actors in general, because other actors can do that. They can have a wide range, but you know what I mean. Like, there's certain parts he strives in all of them. You know what I mean? They, he doesn't really have like a weak point in his whole entire thing. Like that's, that's right. The crazy like, part to me. Uh, like he he. His persona is almost like you should be only in these movies, uh-huh. but he's not. He's like all over the at place. All. Yeah. Yes. I. I. So, anyways, to your point is I'm on the same way. But yeah. As you, when it comes to that that guy as like just an actor in general, you know what I mean? I just think he's top notch. So. What? Uh, what was it? Charming Tate Taint Man. It's, or Charming. Sorry, Taint Charming Taint Man. <laughs> Who's this Charming Taint Man? Yeah. Um. So. Again, Sandra Bullock doesn't age. Uh, I feel like she, mm-hmm. has, for like the last twenty years, has just like looked the exact same. Jessica and I had just watched Miss Congeniality. I swear it's like that came out in two thousand, I think. So it yeah. actually twenty to twenty two years. years. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. And she yeah. looks exactly the same. Um, but anyways, awesome as always. I I, I love Sandra Bullock, um, and then Channing Tatum, of of course. But Brad Pitt. Why are you so handsome? My 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 father was a weatherman. What? Why? Why does that make sense? <laughs> <laughs> His answers are so sure that you don't need explanation. Nope. But the ending, and I'm gonna ruin something. I don't care because it's one of the funny. I laughed so hard because at the end when they're doing yoga and he's there, they're like, "Dude, you got shot in the head." He's like, "Yeah." Well, they say you only use ten percent of your brain, so. I shut that part out down and I started using a different 10%. Like, <laughs> what are you talking about, man? You got shot in the head, dude. You were dead. He's like, he's like, you're dead. He's there because he's got some, you know, he has to do some letting go. And he's like yeah. staring at Channing Tatum's character, dude. It's so funny, man. It just left him out there for dead. When there's blood that hits his face, and he's like, it's, yeah. it's in my mouth. <laughs> he's yeah. just he's like, like, there's brains on my face. Yeah, There's brains <laughs> in my face. He's, he's, <laughs> this, he's this giant muscled dude in this <laughs> tiny little car. It's so funny, man. I, I really... Oh, I, Dan, Daniel Radcliffe. Dan, I, I love Daniel Radcliffe. Oh, yeah, Daniel Radcliffe, yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think of anybody else that's that's in there that I'm forgetting right now. But, um, yeah, I really like the premise because it was kind of cool. Like... Um, yeah, the whole storyline. I mean, I knew where it was going. You yeah, know, right. Like, you know, but I, that didn't matter to me. I actually, I enjoyed it because I already knew. I yeah, wasn't expecting it's, anything. It's the out comedy of it, right? along the way. It's yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's what. That's actually what I personally really liked about that because oh, uh, I didn't. I didn't have any of the 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 what's happening type of thing. Right. I never got that feel of any of it. Yeah. Of right. It. Right. I loved right. It. I loved it. It also wasn't like one of those, oh, now we have to go here. Oh, now we have to go here. Oh, yes. No, it was like yeah. they got a really good reason of getting her to the island. Um, and then uh, the, the rescue scene was awesome all on its own because, you know, <laughs> Brad Pitt's character is like killing them. And then yeah. Chenny would like slap he, them or put them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to do that. They're already down. Yeah. You know, it's like, well, yeah. well, that he was one knocked out already. <laughs> yeah. He goes, I was already in swing mode. Yeah. What do you want me to do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just like slaps one of them. Oh, dude. It's so funny. Um, doing that. But then they're like, instead of cutting her out of the chair, they're like, oh, no, we just got to take you nope. in the chair. Like, Are go. you kidding me? Like, just yeah. Out. yeah. <laughs> so then when he's like finally cutting her out of the chair, he like looks over at Channing Taylor's character. He's like, 
Oh, what what was the what was the magic line that 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 his character so wanted? I think you are safe now. Oh yeah, something you're, something. Yeah, you're yeah. safe now. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, and then when he said it, he was like, "Hey, that's my yeah, line. That's my- <laughs> I was gonna say that." <laughs> oh man, yeah the 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 running joke of the dress being a rental. And, oh, and then hilarious. Her, her assistant was absolutely hilarious. I, I know I've seen her before, and I, I I'm so sorry I don't yeah. remember her name, but yeah, she was. I, I pulled I pulled it up. It is Divine Joy Randolph. Perfect. Yeah, she was she was hilarious. And then there was the the social media one. Oh yes, that okay. is Patty Harrison. Patty Harrison, yes. who if yep. you know her, mm-hmm. she's from I think you should leave. Yep. And I just want just to break from. The Lost City for a second. You know our boy Tim Robinson is an Emmy winner now because of uh, I think it's it's from I think you should leave his short short uh, sketch comedy show got an Emmy and the one that they kept talking about was Coffin Flop. <laughs> oh, are you serious? Yeah. That is so funny, like, dude. That's, that's... Just just naked <laughs> bodies hitting pavement, man. Yeah. <laughs> They say you can't show them nude. I say you can show them nude. They ain't got no soul. It's, yeah, they ain't got souls. Yeah. So, it's funny because actually I just watched that episode recently. Like, yeah, because it's one of like the funniest two, things two ever ago. invented. Well, Thank yeah. you, Corn well, Cob what, TV. Yeah, exactly. Corn Cob TV. Uh, because they that's call, the one that has all of it. They called me a dumb hick at yeah. a dinner. Do you believe that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's so funny because the, the funny part is like so that scene like that episode has the mansion tour yeah carl the havoc tour, yeah. yeah yeah carl havoc and then yep. they have cop tv all oh, the same one it's like i'm like and all the, the best okay, okay and then how about this how about the hot dog eating one too like the hot dog eating scene <laughs> well, he yeah, like comes out on like a wild he's, animal <laughs> yeah you can't skip lunch <laughs> whose backpack is that he pukes on it like I almost tripped on that, and he's like spreading it around. It's so gross. Oh, I love that show. Anyways, Patty yeah. Harrison. All right, yeah. Patty Harrison is really funny in the first season because she she's got the one where like they deliver the copier. They're like, "Oh, Santa must come early," and then she tries dropping a bunch of jokes. We even gonna get anything now? You know, like and there's like one person makes one joke. I make killer jokes, and nobody laughs. <laughs> Anyways, and then in the second second season, she's got a character. Well, she's got a few tables because like her, oh, her yeah. whole business is tables. What's what's her job? Tables. <laughs> I don't want to. I, I don't want to hear no more about tables. And then uh, the other one, where, like it's uh, it's like Shark Tank, but she's like talking about how she got sewed into the pants of a Charlie Brown blimp <laughs> in a in a parade. <laughs> That's where all her. <laughs> That's where all her money comes from. I can't stop drinking wine. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's, it's basic stuff. So, Patty Harrison, great, great work. Yeah, um, absolutely. Yes. So, um, Daniel Radcliffe. I think I'm going to totally join the petition to see Daniel Radcliffe play Wolverine. Because uh, I just are think, you, dude. I just think he would totally kill it. Um, I mean, he kills everything else he's ever done. I think that's I mean, what I'm saying. And then, like, um, he's got like the, the the passive aggressiveness in this movie, especially like how he kept talking about his younger brother being like, "Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. that shit was hilarious." Because like, okay, yeah, man, awesome. we all get it. You've got some yeah. family issues, man. <laughs> yes, yeah, we understand. Yeah, it's, it's even towards the very end when yeah. I mean, when things are happening. You know what I mean? You're like, wait a minute. You're like, <laughs> all right, yeah. So. So yeah, this this movie was a lot of fun. A big, uh, you know, a, not a big a- adventure movie, but a fun adventure movie where you're exploring yeah. some ancient ruins and. Uh, well, yeah. So, so I, I think even that part of it was fun. Like, yeah. I think that part of that whole that that whole realm of everything was actually a decent time. You know what I mean? Like personally. So. Yeah, yeah, because it's like, well, you're here. Yeah. You might as well. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Although I can't do that closed corridor stuff, man. Like that when they're crawling through the tunnel oh. and it's like really yeah. claustrophobic. I'm, I'm not doing that. Yeah, so get in that wrong. tunnel. Nah, you can shoot me because I'm not doing it. Yeah, no. they're like getting that tunnel. I'm like, now nah, you're gonna have to shoot I, me because I ain't doing it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I get it, but I think if you were if you were in the in the thing, you would now damn I think like the anxiety, panic-inducing attacks that would happen within that tunnel 
Eh, shoot me. Nah. Eh, I'm good. I'm out. You're going to yeah. actually have to drag my body because it's going to be stuck in there because I'm going to be freaking out. I'm going to be droop. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Oh, that's Droop, know. man. Yeah. Okay. So, Droop. Poor Droop. R.I.P. Droop is now dead. I just painted him too. I'm surprised I I surprised I allowed it. Anyways, well, I'm um, sur- well then I mean you're the one that kind of pushed for it. But anyways, we'll just. I didn't. It was uh, it was uh, Adelis's idea, so I made her roll for it, and we went with it. It was the rolls. She persuaded him to do it. I didn't not stop it, but I didn't like I, kill him. No, Slit no, his yeah, throat. Yeah, yeah. I, I could have swore you said you said something that brought it up or something. But anyway, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't oh, matter, maybe, but. maybe it was like because he he was he just it's basically just torturing him, keeping him around. Yes, he's just like, yeah, you, you're keeping him for nothing, yeah. and he passes out every <laughs> single time that he out. does anything. <laughs> There's no good conversation. Um, <clears throat> but anyways. Back to, <laughs> back to well, yeah. Lost City. The Lost City. This is like one of okay. those sleeper movies. I feel like because yeah, absolutely, uh, I, I do. Do you know another actor? I'm sorry, I don't want to interrupt. I just want to forget to say this. Do you know who another actor was in this film that I think that actually made me laugh quite a bit too, which you don't see much of? My Oop. old office boy, my old boy in office, man, Oscar Nunez. Oh yeah, okay, dude, dude totally, totally. I'm telling you, he made me laugh like a couple times when he. Jumped on the person and, and tackled them. He's like, "Where are you going, dude?" He goes, "There's an ocean that way." You know, it's just so funny. Just he goes, "Girl, I got your back." It's yeah. so funny. I just I'm telling you, like I laughed. Like I think the whole thing was I was laughing already. You know, yeah, so right. Just but still, he I, that's another actor that I did not want to forget to say that he. No, made that's me laugh. that's perfect. I'm glad you did because uh, he definitely, especially when they're in the plane and she's like, "Who's flying this plane?" He's like, "Ah, oh, it's on autopilot," and he's talking about like <laughs> his best friend. And then he's like alluding to it's this goat, and it's like, okay, go fly that plane. Yes, I don't yes, want to yeah. talk, take your friend with you. I don't want any. I don't want to know anything more goes about on what l- you do. Go, but the, the, the goes on lunch break, so don't. Yeah, yeah, exactly. right. <laughs> it's so funny. yeah Oscar was it. hilarious, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah, that that so, was good. Uh, it was yeah. fun to just like see a a, a, a familiar face pop up. Out it's, of, it's, out of it was. And, yeah, when he when he turned around they, because they're at the dock when he they, when she turned around the assistant did and then when she turned around and the, he, that's who talked to him that's who walked up to her I mean I'm like oh yeah here we go yeah, you know what right, I mean right. you've already won me over buddy I like this <laughs> you know like, I like that so yeah it was good it was good stuff man yeah I, 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 I enjoyed him being in there yeah I I felt the same I thought that like that dude's hilarious and uh, like totally mixes in perfectly with like the uh, no. The chaos. I have a cargo yeah. plane. You ready? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I was, I was saying, like, this movie is, like, a one of those sleeper type of movies where it's almost like it comes out, you keep saying that you're going to watch it, and then you just never do. And it's like, you need to. If you have not yeah. watched The Lost City, get on it. It's it's very yeah. funny. What are you doing? And it really doesn't. Uh, it wasn't very long either, right? No, it wasn't very long at all, actually. Um, I think it was. I guess I got pulled up right here. Um, oh, okay. So we're not we're not too far off. Seventy nine percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Yep. But then it's what was crazy though. Usually it's always opposite of this. The Google users is always <clears throat> higher than the Rotten Tomatoes, right? Ninety nine 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 percent of the time. Yeah. The Google users on here are only at fifty five percent. Well, the audience score is eighty three percent. Look that's at that, crazy. man! That's a that's a close one. I'm I'm I've never been more happy, uh, especially for my boy uh, Channing Tatum. Like, I, yeah. I I know he went through like a little bit of a break, um, I, not like needing to do anything or or whatever. I think he yeah. was just like giving a little bit of time off or whatever, and uh, so we haven't really seen much of him as of recent at so all. It was, so it was nice. I still want to see him as Gambit uh, in the X Men universe. So I hope one day yeah. that happens. But uh, yeah, I was was, just... w- the last movie that we saw him in, we, we watched it for the podcast. It was the one where they, um... oh come on, man! It was uh, the the one that uh, what's it called? It's a game. He's an, he's an NPC in a game. Oh, free guy. 
Free Guy. We, we, we watch Free Guy for it. Remember, he is the he is the guy that's the cool guy that has all the cars up there in the actual. That's um, right. That, that's yeah, in the right. room because because that, that I'm like that made the movie much better right there because you you put a big named actor like in that whole scene which made that scene in that whole realm way better right like it was awesome like you yeah. know what I mean you're the cool guy you're the blue shirt guy you know what I mean like that's it was sweet anyways yeah no you're, the, you're yeah you're hundred percent yeah, right it's because that was the one that I was actually shocked about because I didn't like he's not because I think he's not a main actor and you you don't like it's not like you don't he's not starring in it because he's not he's in it but he's not starring so you don't it's not something that you read right so it's a surprise for me I, honestly I really I did not expect that man to be in there so but. I'm like going through this dude's like catalog of, of movies, and I'm impressed. There's a ton of movies on here, dude. Oh, that's right, because in 2022 he also had the movie Dog. I forgot, I forgot about that one. Oh, I did forget about the movie Dog. Actually, yeah, I did. That actually looked pretty good. Like, yeah, I mean, that it, it did okay. actually. Yeah. Oh. Uh, so good job, Channing. Good job, Sandra Bullock. Good yep. job, everybody. I'm like, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna list everybody. Yeah. Brad Pitt, though, come on, man. Yeah, Tra- what is his name? Tra- Trainer David. Trainer. Uh. Ah, oh, man. All right, let me just look it up. Cause yeah. Okay, so David so... David Trainer or something. David Trainer. Yeah, uh... th- yeah, I think so. Ah, I cannot. No, nope. all right, try it, try it. You, you're close. Trainer is definitely the last name. Yeah. Um. There's a uh, there's this dog that's like uh. Jack Trainer, yeah, no! Jack Trainer, yeah, it's, uh, it's so funny. Uh, nice. There is so this is this is going in the beginning with uh, the news and update segment. Bullet uh-huh. Train, I really want to watch Bullet Train. That's hmm. that's got a huge cast, but a star. Actually, it's kind of funny. It stars uh, Brad Pitt, but Sandra Bullock's also in it too. Um, but it, it looks awesome. Aaron Taylor Johnson, uh, Brian Tyree Howard, I think it is. Brian Tyree. Um, huge cast, though. And it's like hmm. a, a huge uh, action flick that all, mm-hmm. that all happens on the, uh, on the train. Gotcha. Uh, all right, yeah. I'll have, to, I'll have to look into that. I, and I can't believe that we didn't talk about one scene. I, well... How about this movie? Just real quick, because it's not really anything. Because Brian Tyree Henry. Sorry, go ahead. Oh no, you're good. Oh, oh yeah, no, 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 you're good. Actually, yeah. I okay. You know, who I know who I know who that. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, but the the scene that I think that was like that blew this movie like not blew it up. Obviously, it's you know kind of one of those sleeper movies like you said, but made it like to where like it was it was on the news and stuff. Sandra Bullock seeing Channing Tatum naked, but like. Directly in front of her, when she's pulling oh man, off. when when they're Dude, just pulling the 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 yeah, mm. I laughed so hard, and this is the crazy part. I actually I, like right before we got started uh, today, but instead of watching the Lord of the Rings, what I did is I actually watched a couple of the interviews for the Lost City. Right? Oh, nice. Just That's fun. You know what I mean? Yeah, just to kind of see what everybody else had to say about it. And every one of them was talking about like that was a scene. Do you know on day two of shooting was that scene? <sighs> So they see, they meet each other, they go out to the wilderness, and boom, his ass is fully out. I mean, you're like, that is That's so That's hilarious, funny. man. Yeah, That's yeah. hilarious. So it was like, really? Yeah, it was, She's uh, like I narrating the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm face to face. Yeah. <clears throat> that was that was hilarious, yeah. Yeah, that was, that was I, I thought that was really funny. I had to make sure I brought that up because I, I just I, I was just listening to it for probably 30 minutes of, of interviews talk, where she talked about it. Because she, 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 what, what she said is it's all real. Like, she really was standing right there. That's no that's no CGI. That's no nothing. She, like, that, that's she goes, that is real. Things are probably covered in yeah, tape. I'm, and, I'm, you know yeah, I mean? I'm guessing there was some something. But, yeah, that's, yes, that's pretty yes. funny. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but 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 with his butt though and stuff too being out, that she really like she goes, that was a one hundred percent real a real thing. So. That's really funny. Yeah, I uh, I also but, laughed really hard, and I know it was in the trailer, and I don't I don't even know why I laughed so hard, but when they bring that uh, when they first bring um, Sandra Bullock's character into that room with all that food, <laughs> it's like such a ridiculous thing to have all that food for one person. But then they open up the doors, and like the jet is just like blasting the food everywhere, and he's just standing there like smiling, like this is like the most normal thing he's ever done. Daniel Radcliffe, 
Yeah. He killed his part. Wolverine. I can't wait to watch uh, the Weird Al Yankovic movie. with. Uh, oh, me too. They, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm very excited about that one. So, yeah, The Lost City. I, I give it my two thumbs up. I'll give it like a couple of inhalers up there because I laugh very yeah. hard. Uh-huh. Uh, it's just like solidifies his – I mean, not solidifies. This isn't the movie that solidifies a career, but – no. It just goes to show you, like, th- these are A-listers for a reason because th- it just put a, put them in like a movie like this, and it's hilarious and it's and it's funny. Yeah. Like you said, like we know where we're going with the story. It's it's not the story yeah. that we're like in awe of. It's just the no. hilarity that ensues. So exactly. yeah, absolutely. Yep. Very cool. All right. Yes. So if you haven't watched The Lost City, get on it. That's crazy. It's on Paramount. Yeah, uh, it was Paramount, or was it? Peacock? No, 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 no. It was Peak. It was no. No, it's Paramount. I was it Paramount. I think it was Paramount. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We don't want to give some wrong information here, and then yeah, have, have I think the... it is because it's because it's actually on Epics, Epic Now, which I think is part of um, Paramount. But you know how I watched it? How? A- Amazon Prime Video. I knew you because when you told me that's the first place I looked. But if you actually look at it, it's actually on Amazon. Oh, maybe that's the, where the we Prime. watched the thing. Because, yeah, we watched it. Oh, no, it's, yeah. it's on Paramount Plus as well. We got you. Okay, so because yeah. I because actually I don't have Paramount. So ah, I, I got you. I, okay. I found out on Sunday I don't have Paramount because I tried to watch a Browns game at my mom's house. <laughs> so oh, I had that's to sign funny. up for it. I now have Paramount. I now have but, Paramount. Yeah. Yes, yes. So I, it was, uh, but anyways. Yeah, so it is on uh, it's on Amazon Prime. It's on Paramount. Yeah. It's on Epics. It's on a lot of things. So I'm saying, so you can find it. You can find it. You can watch it. And you can laugh and yep. have a good time. Mm-hmm. And just so you know, Epic or Epics or whatever it is, it actually is actually part of Paramount from what I learned. Because I tried to search for it beforehand, and then I found out that it's on Epics as part of Paramount. And then, like, I don't know. Somehow it's part of the same thing. I don't know. I didn't go into great detail about it because I also when I looked it up, it came up as Amazon, so I just went to Amazon. <laughs> so I quit looking. But I'm just saying, just so you know, the, str- it's all, the it's streaming all wars. That's just there's it's, too many. It's insane. It's I, that's why. I, and actually, that's why I quit caring. To be honest with you. Listen, I just want to watch my videos. Yeah, I just, yeah, just exactly. want to watch it. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. um, okay. So, yeah. All right. Lost City. Get on it. You ready for the next one? I am. You ready? I am. All right. Hell is a timeshare in Florida. 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 You ever been yeah. to Florida? Negative. Actually, I have one time. Uh, I haven't been. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not definitely yeah. not going to buy a timeshare. Uh uh-uh. I'm not going to buy a timeshare from this uh this this muscle bound freak on the internet, you know. Uh huh. Uh but yeah, how was the timeshare in Florida? It's a nine two two productions five dollar film school movie. Um. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You All go right. ahead. So what what do you think? You want me to go ahead? <laughs> yeah, you. Go I'll, ahead. I'll go ahead. I'll go ahead. All right. So, so you know, with with the movie, you know, with the way well, the way the movie kind of starts out, it's it's definitely kind of a I want to call the first fifteen minutes a slow burner because you do have to kind of you have to learn who this character is and kind of get his whole thing. So, because even I even put in my notes that it's a slow burn, right? Yeah. But then when it actually got to like we were kind of understanding a little bit more, it, you want I I started understanding the first fifteen minutes a little bit more, right? Like the the awkwardness that, that you're trying to build around this character made it kind of where it was like okay i get what you were doing at the very beginning right like right, i understand right. i still don't, i still don't know what he was doing i don't know if he was a writer or something i, I don't yeah, I can't tell I, you that I, part i imagine it, he's just a writer and uh he's looking for a retreat to get yes. away from yeah <clears throat> yeah so that's why i was like i'm not too sure so it's like a typical anyways, trope of a writer movie correct Ex- exactly sure. yep and then and then he's and then he's going to find his new writing spot or something right you know what i mean like yeah that's, some that's inspiration kind of, or yeah. something correct to, yeah yep yeah. yeah. mm-hmm. so with with um uh, so anyways so like i like the movie was good i thought the shots and stuff were actually pretty decent in the film you know i think this is another one they do these guys do a great job you know what i mean their their camera work and audio work is pretty great i think Majority of the time, you know what I mean. There was a, there was a couple parts in this one that I thought the wind was too loud. And it kind of yeah, turned my TV down a couple times. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because yeah. there was some spikes, but um, the golfing that's what that's what it that's what it was. And actually, just so you know, the golfing makes me laugh because I'm almost positive I watched where the the first guy where he was teaching him the muscle bound freak. <laughs> yeah. It went straight left yeah. into yeah. the trees, yeah. right? 
And, and and then he's like over there giving them directions. I'm like, hey man. The other guy she, sounded like his he hit his ball like way for them. Like, <laughs> it's, so yeah. it's hilarious. I wonder if that's why they use that shot instead of using the back shot. Yeah, oh yeah, shot yeah. Because yeah. The, his shot was actually probably straight down the pipe. That's what it sounded like. It looked like. Yeah. But anyways, so that's but. I, I, I have like, I have to agree yeah. with uh, um, your point of like the the use of like the camera quality, the lighting, <clears throat> uh, the camera shots, the the cuts, even like all of that is is really good, really great. You could tell like they put in care in setting up the shot and doing the sh- you know doing the walk cool, yeah. right because absolutely. I imagine a lot of this is is just him with the you know with the camera and setting up his own shots. Um, which is great, you know. Like you're actually taking the time to do it, to do it right. Yeah. So yeah, but then again, you know, we have this conversation a lot, and I, you know, it's, I'm sure a very difficult thing. But yeah, like that, the audio would be the only thing. There, there were yeah. a couple times, just a couple times where it was well, like ex- exactly and, and, either noticeably camera audio or it was just noticeably not tuned right or something because like the wind correct. would come in yep. or. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. The, the golf scenes stuck out to me a, a, a lot. I know that you want to put some noise in there, but actually, I'd rather that noise be way lower. Let me just hear a light ambiance of wind. Yep. Instead of actually hearing the wind blowing like hard while he's lining up to shoot a shot, like yeah. it was just it was, like, it, it, was a, it was like use a wind sound effect, cut correct. that wind out. <laughs> yes, exactly. But yes. yeah, yeah, so, like, like I that would be but, but, like, like my only gripe of of that. Yeah. Yeah, and I have to, and I'm literally having to nitpick something to actually even come up with like a problem with the quality of the film. You know right. what I mean? Really, really, that, that's the thing. So, because I also got to give, um, like, all right. So the scene where they're in the car, I'm not, I'm not trying to give away the whole movie, but the scene that they're in the car driving away from the last timeshare. Okay. Mm-hmm. Do you remember that scene where he gets all upset with the guy? Do you remember that? Yeah. I actually put that in my notes. I'm like, this scene was actually like. It was great. I actually felt like the guy was actually aggravated. He was actually upset. You know what I mean? I think like in the, like in the thing, sometimes you know like the, it's it's so I'm gonna call it like um, scene generated, right? To where the it's it's like very the conversation is like it's like they know what they're gonna say to each other, right? It's the well, the conversation plot, yeah. Where like this exactly? Is he just went off on his own thing, and then even he's like even stumbled across his words. But you would do that if you're like really upset about something. Like in real life, if I'm yelling at you about something, you're you're made me upset, and I'm like talking to you. I might stumble across my word a couple times. I may do that, right? Right. It right. makes it feel more realistic, and no, I'm yeah, like, for that's sure. really cool. Like I actually really like that aspect of like that one scene. I, I even had, like I said, I had to put in my notes of being like. This was good. Like I really enjoyed that scene pretty well. So there was other parts where I th- I think that the stumbling of, the stumbling of words shouldn't have happened. That it yeah, happen yeah. I, I I had wrote down. I I didn't I didn't mind the 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 car dialogue. Yeah. I I also felt the the same. But I yeah, also, it was just good. But I also felt like the other times in the car, like describing the timeshares. Oh. And, some of the some of the timeshare stuff was just kind of painful. I felt like there was a decent portion of this movie where I was just actually watching somebody purchase a timeshare. Um, but but in a in a very like weird way, dry like, way, right? Like, yes, yeah. Right. Here's the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, yep. you know. So that would that uh, I had said like it felt like there wasn't much of a script. Um, uh-huh. Or a shooting script with dialogue, and you know that that's okay for the most part. I think they've they've done pretty good. But then you have like where they're stumbling on words or mixing things up, and that also could be done with like if you just cut and reshot it and yep. and did stuff like that. But if you don't have a shooting script, well, they're just ad libbing it anyway, so you might yeah. as well keep it in because you know. So that that you know that that'd be like. My only thing is like you know some of the, some of the dialogue was just like, okay, let's move this along, yeah. please, please. Uh, the timeshare was like, okay, let's move this along, please. Um, and then I, I just felt like there could have been a better use of like music, ambiance, yeah. uh, anything for, like in some of these because like some of these are just like dreadfully long. Um, s- silences of, yeah. of of people just doing things, and and then it just becomes really mundane. Um, mm-hmm. And it's fine to see like 
mundane ta- tasks done. We've we've seen that, but when you don't have like some sort of ambiance, some sort of music in there, it kind of helps break that up. Yeah. yeah. So uh, that that would be my my only other thing. Um, sorry, I I feel like I totally cut you off. Oh no, no, you're good. No, you're you're you're, you're fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're good. All right. Um. Anyways. You rude son of a gun. Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but where was I? And I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, here we go. Yeah, yeah here we go. No. Um, so, just, yeah, I'm, I'm essentially, uh, I agree with what you were saying with that that with that whole ambiance thing. Because like, I actually wrote that down. Ambiance needed in, like, I wrote down, I just wrote down ambiance. Because sometimes, like, what I do is I, I just write down keywords, right? Like, in generality... It needs ambiance. You know what I mean? Right, you need something, right. a little bit of feel there. Like, because, like, the, okay, so the one scene, too, that... I, I, and I'm not trying to, like, destroy the movie, but the one scene that kind of... It turned in from this, like... It's like a, it's not a documentary, but it almost felt like a documentary during the one scene where he's carrying the cameras, and he's walking up to the subway station saying he can go anywhere he wants to. You know, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like, the way, I like, the camera was, like, in his face. Yeah. Exactly. But then he's, like, he didn't even, like, look down at the camera. Like... Dude, if, yeah, you, if, I, if you do that, just cut it. Yeah, cut it and I, reshoot. Like that's those are things that I'm like, you know, if you if if I can see as a viewer for the first time, like watch it enough that scene to where just redo it. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's all it is. I, I could agree with that. I, I know some like yeah. I kept like looking down to like check it. <clears throat> yeah, and stuff. it's like well, simple things that could just t- it takes it, you out of the movie. Um, yeah. So yeah, I, I agree. Like you, you could just. You know, so some editing would would be good. Um, 100%. Also, there were like, uh, so I think one of my favorite things that, you know, when we did uh, Vigil, our our movie here at this house, Uh and we did that outside shot of the house. And when we were editing it, we thought it was a decent time. And then when we watched it in theaters, it was painfully long. And you're like you just like sink into your seat because like uh-huh. you're like okay we get it this is the scene like move along please and I felt like yeah. there were a couple of these where it was just like we're focusing too much on like the building we're about to enter in or the place that we're gonna yep. go to and stuff like that so mm-hmm. you know but you know still you know really good material as far yeah, as like, like, like a I said, working yeah, per- yeah. portfolio because mm-hmm. um, I I feel like they know they they. They definitely know what to do with a a, uh, a camera, lighting, tracking shots, all that stuff. Like they definitely know what they're doing there. So it's like if we could work on dialogue, screen, scri- uh, the script, and audio, it would just and some editing. All right, you know, it's a, <laughs> but yeah. but you know, refining it and and keep working it. Um, the camera work alone though is is so good that that's where. You could see these people, uh, this ninety two productions five dollar film school progressing because they've got the skill. I feel like yeah. uh, put a little more extra love and time into it, and, and instead of like trying to crank twelve movies out in a year, crank six and put some extra time into these and, and really refine them. Yeah, um, yeah, I I totally agree. And then all, yeah, just because just look for it. Oh, and then also instead of yeah instead of doing that, and then the following year, you know, you boost it up. Yeah, so yeah. If you're, if you're, you're doing now that you know what you're doing and, with like yeah. audio and editing and yeah, your cuts absolutely. and all that. Um, one of the things uh, that annoyed me was like, dude needs to get a new shirt. Thank you. The, then, okay, the so bacon let me ask you neck, this. lots yeah. painting shirt. Yeah. You wore it almost every single day. You were in. The, you're on your Florida trip, and, and, and the same shorts. I you and couldn't tell. T- do you know what yeah. the problem is? I couldn't tell time. I couldn't tell time in this. Yeah. He goes like, "Oh, it's here for a couple of days." You're like, "Wait, what?" Yeah, but you're, yeah, you're here for a couple of days. You're meeting someone for the first time, or like you're wanting to go to a party and you're dressed like that, or you're gonna go out. Uh-huh. And I don't know. Like to me, I'm like, that's a little bit of an extra care. I think that would help too. Where. Yeah. Like we had the the workout guy. I mean, yeah. wardrobe changes no problem. This guy is like you brought one pair of shirts or something like that like yeah. in, in the like, yeah, you brought one outfit total. up neck just well, like, yeah. I wouldn't yeah. I don't care no. what I normally look like at all, but I'm definitely not wearing one of something like that. 
And not well, well, repeated amount of so, days. Yeah, he he played he played tennis and he played uh, and he went to the gym. So yeah, two different right, sweat right, sessions. Right, right. This guy's running around in these clothes, walking he, in the sun. Uh, yeah. No. So, think about wardrobe changes. Yeah. That wouldn't hurt either. Um, I concur. <laughs> I said it, the so. I like to put like a little theme to the movie that I kind of get from it, you know. Yeah. Um, the ending kind of was like weird for me because he's like celebrating out in the snow, and I'm like, "You got, you got duped." So I'm not even sure like what you're celebrating. And then I'm like, yeah. like ah. So like, what I came up with is gaining confidence by getting conned by a con man, <laughs> because. Oh, okay. You know, yeah. the guy yeah. talked about confidence and he talked about how, like, you need to, you know, basically be your own person. You can't, like, yep. And so I feel like now he's, like, owning who he is. Okay, I'm not a beach guy. I'm not a Florida guy. I'm a cold winter Chicago guy. And I, yep. like, you know, yeah. so, so I, I did enjoy that because, like, at first I'm like, well, what the hell is this guy celebrating? And then I'm like, trying to think of, like, what we had gone through in this movie. And, uh, yeah. and 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 realizing that he he's got like this possible newfound confidence because hell now you do have a timeshare in Florida too. <laughs> you do. That you do. That's a hell of one too. I'll tell you what, Mary Jo. You know. So the one note that I was looking through. Her name might not even be Mary Jo. It might just be it's Mary. Mary. <laughs> yeah, so, do you know what's funny? That scene for some reason remind me of Tim Robbins. I don't know. I don't know what it was. Yeah, yeah, just, just the way he the way he said that. You know, he was like that whole that whole comedy. I'm like, that's so funny. But um, that's that's funny. Yeah, but the uh, the the note that I have here. Did I mean? Did you get the tingles at all? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You come here and that's, talk about tingles, you know? Yeah, that's a, that's a funny. So, so, because that's actually that's what made me at first like that car scene. That's that, you that's know what? That's really funny. Yeah, that that all started out right. Like yeah. you know what I mean? He goes, "That one just didn't give me the tingles." The tingles? tingles? Yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> so, offended and then he by goes that. on like a it's five so minute funny. rant about like getting yes. the tingles. Yeah, and then also flying. It looks like he is. Flying yeah, like, like foot, down the road. Foot, yeah, pedal to the floor. I know. <laughs> Especially sure like when he whips into the takes the seatbelt. Yeah, the camera. he's pulling up the seatbelt all aggressively. I'm like, geez, he's really man. into like, character, man. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, so and then you know, I was thinking about like maybe that's like shorten the scene for them too, though. The longer he drove, the more he had to yell and complain. You know what I mean? Yeah, you right. About that like, park it so the faster I get home, well, you know, that's funny. Yeah, um, so. and then there was one, one other thing that I had said. About the the theme of the movie, I just realized I had put this down there too, but you may not always find what you are looking for, because you may already be there. Boom. Boom. I like it. You don't the grass ain't no always green on the other side. Yeah, exactly. You don't need no Mary Jo in Florida. She's probably not even Mary Jo. She's probably no. just Mary. I'm a, seriously, I'm upset that there was never a party. He never seen a party. So, uh, Yeah. He never even used his timeshare for a party. He just got duped and then, like, left. Went home. Went home to snow. But, again, maybe that's his stuff. That's, what he, that's, that's his, what he likes. That's his shit. No, I mean, he's stupid. I hate snow. But I'll <laughs> snow yeah, right. I just have anxiety right now. Snow's coming soon. I just, I'm like, no, 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 I don't no, like no, that. No, 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 no. See? Nope. Boom. I just started for you now. So. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, Hell is a Timeshare in Florida, I feel like is a really, a really good shot at a progressing skill. Um, yeah. I feel like you have a lot of what it takes because I'm going to be honest, half of it is camera work, camera shots and lighting. I mean, that's, it's got to be visually good to consume. So you've already got that. Yeah. Now, if we could just sharpen up some editing, maybe get some things down on on, on script, and and you know, it's it's interesting because like if you watch like the special thanks, you know, he used the, the his holiday, his family uh, Christmas holiday down in Florida to film all that. So like, almost everybody you see is like a, a relative, and uh. I, I yeah, and I and I think that's awesome because it's like you're utilizing yeah. what you have. That that's that's beautiful, huh. um, but it's also like where we've run into to issues. We're not, I mean, they're not actors either. So, yeah. I mean, if yeah. you're expecting them to just come up with lines on the fly, 
it might just be more helpful to write some dialogue down on a note card, have them just read oh, it a few yeah. times, and then... And have, a, have like, a perspective yeah. of, like, where it's at. You know what yeah. I mean? That's, that's the whole thing. So, yeah. yeah. And, and, and cut and reshoot if you have to. I mean, it's... it's mm-hmm. uh, it's it's a process. I know it's like a, a long process, especially if you're wanting to crank things out. But I don't think that's necessarily the best way. I think adding a little love and and making sure that when you're watching it, you're thinking, yes, that's that's. I mean, obviously, you could work on something forever, and it's yeah. never going to be perfect. You have to release it at some point, and I'm fine with that. But don't crank things out just to say, "Oh, I've got a feature film out." Like, well, I'll tell quality, you what. quality over quantity. Yeah, I, I live, 100%. I live and die by that. Yep. I'm telling you, I think that's huge. Yeah. I would rather have something quality over than, than quantity. Yeah. So yeah, I, and and I don't, I didn't, uh, I didn't hate it. I didn't. Uh, no. I was, Nobody you know. Knows. So I, I, I am interested to see more because I know. This is like a different director from this yeah. 922 Productions and, and Five Dollar mm. Film School. So I know that there's other things that, that he might have done, so I, I wouldn't mind checking those out um, just to see, you know, you know the, pr- the progression. I, that's why I really love doing this, uh, this, like, indie uh, f- films and all that stuff is, like, the progression. If, if we keep watching certain movies from certain directors, it's, it's, you know, we're bound to see that you hear them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So he's, he's getting upset. The second time, but the first, yeah, the first time I was like, I'm good. The second time I couldn't, he's getting upset. <laughs> um, but oh, yeah, like it's yeah. so cool to see the progression of these filmmakers because I mean, a lot of these filmmakers, you know, the, these could be people that are rising stars. These could be people that in uh, five, ten years from now, we're watching their movies on the big screen or streaming yeah. at home. You know, so and that would be awesome. I that mean, that yeah, would be absolutely incredible and. And, and, and I know that's the I know that's the end goal. So that's why I like giving the critiques because of yeah, we could actually I'll, I'll, you know yeah. what I mean. I'm, I'm not I'm not a, a an actor or a director, so I can't I don't know for sure. But if I can give you a hint to try to help you be that person, let me do it. Yeah, like we're we're viewers, we're watchers. Like yeah, yes. we've yeah. we've done some short films. I've done some uh, music videos. I'm in no way qualified. Yeah. yeah. But I have watched a crap ton of movies, it, it, and yes. I'm just want to give you my opinion of what I think could be better, what I think could be, what I noticed was off or what I noticed was good. All yeah. Kind of same, same with you. So. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I, I, I love that. So, yeah, it's uh, free on uh, the YouTube. Hell is yep. a timeshare in Flor- Florida. Florida. And, uh, check it out because you, yeah, you never know watch. what content you could be watching from a, a rising star. I like it. <laughs> it's just, just that's just a thumbs up. That's I like just that a thing, thumbs you know? up. We're all about positive attitudes here. Yeah, absolutely. We'll, we'll critique. Yeah, but that's a good thing. Exactly. It's actually yeah. I'm critiquing to help. That's, yeah. I'm not critiquing to be. I'm not critiquing to be rude or an ass or anything like that. I'm critiquing yeah. to help out the cause of what I'm doing. Because thank, because I appreciate the, the opportunity of even watching these films that they're they're sending to us. Actually, you know what I mean. Like I exactly. So, anyways, but yeah. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna definitely do Thor four for the next one. Yep. Um, I'll try then... to get an open. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Oh yeah, yeah. I, do, I, I got I got a busy week coming up, but that's that's the week. The weekend I ain't got much, so okay. I might be able to squeeze that thing in over the weekend. So we'll do so. Thor four. Maybe maybe nope, and then uh, nope. We'll decide on the An next indie. Uh, yep. indie film. Sure. And if you guys have any sort, if you guys have anything, if there's yeah. anything that you guys you know want to send to us, so we can talk about it, and I mean do the same thing we did today. I mean, I would you know send it to our email in the description right below here. It's around here somewhere. You know, that's yeah, I mean? actually Over I think right below bit. you. Yeah, and, and then, then right Twitter. below me is going to be Twitter. Uh, just send us a link to your YouTube yeah. channel and all that fun stuff. So yeah, and we'll get to the list. Get we got, we got some more to going. The list. So. All right. Well, perfect. You got anything else for us? No, I think I, I think I don't think. Actually, I do. Go Browns. <laughs> so sorry. I this little sports break. Corey cut out for about five seconds. We kicked a fifty-nine or fifty-eight yard field goal on Sunday to win the game. We were up all game, and I mean this was like a bigger deal. Baker Mayfield, our old quarterback, I traded to this team that we played week one. We were whooping 
their asses. And not whooping their ass, but we were beating them yeah. like, like 10 points, okay? And then the fourth quarter, we gave up huge plays to all of a sudden they took the lead in the fourth quarter. So we had to drive down one penalty and then our rookie cook kicker, okay? So anybody who tells me right now that you think it's stupid that we cook a fourth round kicker, you're stupid. Just it, kidding, but not worked, kidding. Because this is what we did. We needed to replace our old. We had we had one field goal. I know you don't watch football, but Phil Dawson was the Cleveland Browns' best kicker ever, and actually probably the NFL's best kicker. He was Tom Brady. You know Tom Brady, yeah. best quarterback, right? The, Phil Dawson as kicker, boom, right there. Like I'm telling you, he like he, he's going to hall of, hall of fame for cook, kick kicking. Okay, for cooking. <laughs> yeah, I know for cooking and cooking and cooking. You know what I mean? Uh, so yeah. So anyways, so we we have that guy back now. Like at least like a like a, a, a shot at having that guy back, and it's huge. Like I am so excited for <laughs> and not not for the kicker. I'm not saying the kicker just no, did a great job. For the you know team, what I mean? yeah. Yeah, like you know what I mean. We're finally getting something. I mean, this whole the whole quarterback thing. I'm not going to dive into it because it's all it's yeah. All that sucks. But, that's a mess. Yeah. That sucks, but yeah, it's a mess. So, but I, but that's but the, the reason why I'm excited right now for it is because we won without the drama. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what? a good aspect. That's a really nice. Yeah. What you don't need it. You don't, you don't need it. get rid you of it. You don't need it. Get rid just, of it. You'd be making a lot of people happy by just getting rid yeah, of that drama. Just, yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> so, because cool. even know, I know about but, that drama, and I don't even watch. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And exactly. I'm like, that's what I'm saying. Why would you ever do that? But anyways, uh huh. Well, so. not uh, yeah. So, yeah. Okay, cool. Very cool. We'll go Browns. Yeah, go Browns, man. Sorry. I had to say it. I had to say it. You know what I mean? You got your platform. You know, you got to say it. Yeah, I do. I got to say it. So, all right. What else? That's it. That's all I got to (laughs) say. All right. Well, I got to let this dog out. So, uh, all right. I'm going to end this thing. So, anybody who wanted us to talk longer, blame Jackson. He's yelling at me in my ear. Look at him. Oh, nope. There we go. No, look, oh, look, there he's he looking is. At him, man, just like <laughs> staring at me. Like, yeah. He goes, keep talking about yeah, me, man. Keep talking. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. That dog, guys, that dog scares me. Last time he threatened me with a knife. Just yeah, so. he did. He did. <laughs> he did. There. He saw it. Yep. Uh, uh, it was wild. It was so <laughs> All right. Well, All right, guys. Yeah. Hit the like and the subscribe and uh, everything. The bell, the, yeah. the follows. Whatever. No just it do it. Just do it all. Just do it all. Come on. No. Crank those rookie numbers up. Yeah. Let's go. And have a wonderful week. Yeah. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. <laughs> <laughs>